Hi, welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman. Uh, today I'm going to do a, not really an unboxing, it's more of an unpacking. Uh, I bought some Pokemon cards. Bought seven packs. Four for XY Fates Collide, and three for XY Breakthrough. Uh, I've been trying to get back into the card game. A friend of mine plays it and, you know, gives me somebody to play against. Um, before, when I was really into the game, it was back when I was in high school in 2001, 2002. Uh, that was back when the first sets were out. Um, basic, Jungle, Fossil... I had, I had all those sets complete. Now I can't find them. They're somewhere in the garage, I think. Either way, I've been trying to get back into this. And I figured I bought these packs. Might as well do a little unpacking and see what I got and share it with you guys. So I'm going to start, I think, with one Fate Collide. And then I'm going to do a breakthrough and kind of switch off. Uh, so we're starting with a Fate Collide. I don't really know a lot of the newer Pokemon, because I haven't really been keeping up. Um, I just bought these packs because it's got, I guess, the Mega for Alakazam. And I want that. Alakazam is one of my favorites. Uh, Gengar would be my, my favorite like Pokemon for any generation. Alright, so let's do this. I don't like to actually just rip the package open. I like to keep it in kind of good condition because I usually put the cards back inside because right now I don't have a binder for them. So let's see. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. Okay. So I ended up getting a Meowth. Binacle, Snubble, Snivy, Solosis, or Solosis, or however you pronounce that, Halucha, which uh, I think is a basic. Yeah. I got two trainer cards, a Chaos Tower, Altaria Spirit Link, uh, my hollow for this pack is a Deerling, and my rare is a Superior. Let's see, so that's pack one. Put that back in the thing. All right, we're going to open the first uh, breakthrough pack. All right. Ah. See, when I first started buying these cards, I didn't have these cardboard packets over them. All right, so for this pack, I got Ralts, Swinub, Noibat, see, Skiddo, see, Zorua, I think that's how you pronounce it. I got a rare hollow, uh, Bra Braviari, Bra yeah, Braviari, I think is how you pronounce that, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know any of the new Pokemon. Uh, my regular rare is a Simaseer. 
Uh, Spupa. A trainer card. Houndoom Spirit Link. And a Pillow Swine. Uh, if I end up getting doubles, I'll just skip those and I'll just show you all the newer card, the new cards I get out of these decks. All right, we're doing another Fates Collide. So in this pack, I got a Mancino, cute little mouse guy, a Diglett, I know that one, Riolu, I'm pretty sure that is the base form of, uh, oh god, I can't remember the name of that Pokemon, Lucario, I think, yeah, Lucario, uh, Carbink, Uh, non hollow deerling. I got a hollow duosian. Duosian. Oh! Rare is a white curum. I got trainer Shauna. Uh, Servine. And energy reset. I'm going to have to actually spend time to learn who these new Pokemon are because, as I said, I am way behind on these new Pokemon. I, I only knew like the first two generations. And even then I only knew a couple of the second. <laughs> Alright, so this is the next breakthrough. I had already taken the cardboard off. Whatever. Not that big of a deal. I guess. I mean, unless you all wanted to see the cardboard, it was the same one with Mewtwo. Uh, Mega Evolution on it. All right, I got a Fennekin. Doduo. Another one I know from my generation. Chespin. Inke. I think that's Inke. I think that's how you pronounce that. Pikachu. A uh, rare hollow... Cresselia, oh I got Dodrio, so I got a Doduo and a Dodrio in this pack, uh, Braxen, Braxen, it's the Evolves from Fennekin, which I also believe I got in this pack, uh, Spupa again, Stunfisk, And the last card is always one of these, like, Pokemon trading card game uh, packs. Let's get back in there. The next fates collide. Got two more packs left. Okay, well, that's one way of opening it. Still got the cards back in there, so it's all right. Okay, in this one I got a Jigglypuff. 
uh, Finnegan, different one from the last one. Snubble, which I think actually looks different too. Seal, it's another one I know from my generation of Pokemon. Bronzor, Bronzor. I got a uh, break, Bronzong break. Oh. Ball from Bronzong. I don't have Bronzong, but I got his break. Uh, Motham. Another Halucha. Got a Dome Fossil Kabuto. And an Altaria Spirit Link, which I think I think I got that last time, but just in case, I'll put that up here. So yeah, I got a break. That's pretty cool. I got a couple of those. I got a I got a Gold Duck and I can't remember the other guy. But uh, I got like two, two, oh, two other ones. Oh, uh, this is the next breakthrough. The last breakthrough. And we got one more Fates Collide to go. Come on. There we go. All right. Uh, Remoroid? Remoraid? Remoraid. Yeah, there we go. Spritzy? I guess they're on the right. Cyndaquil? Hoot hoot. Looks like a. Let's see a couple of hollows in here. Mistrevious. We got a full hollow Panpar. Panpor. I got a Mega Evolution Houndoom. Wow. Uh, Spupa. Ooh, Snorlax. Little fact, uh, my nickname in high school and amongst my family was Snorlax because I like to sleep. <laughs> uh, Vanillish, just looks like an ice cream cone. Get that a little closer, see if that... Nope, not gonna, not gonna focus, okay. It's pretty cool, I don't think I have any Megas yet. And we're going to do our last one, our Fates Collide. Didn't get the Alakazam I wanted, but, you know, at least yet. If it was easy, you know, everybody would be getting it. It would be awesome if I, <laughs> I got it after saying all that. Come on, there we go. There we go. All right, so I got another Mentino, a Bronzor, a Snubble, no, oh, Burmy. Don't think I showed, had that one yet. Cottony. Cottony. <laughs> the Cotton Ball Pokemon. I uh, got a Hollow Wormadon. Wormadon? Wormadon? This guy. Uh, my rare is a Rotom? Rotom? Rotom, I guess. I got the Audino Spirit Link. A Random Receiver. What does it say? Reveals cards from the top of your deck until you reveal a supporter card. Okay. And a Helix Fossil 
Ammonite. And that's it. I actually think I did pretty good. I mean, I don't really know too much about the new rules that came out for this card game. I don't think it's changed all that much. I know they added gems and stuff like that. I see supporter cards. I think I'm pretty sure they had supporter cards when I was playing uh, years ago. But I don't think they actually called them supporter cards. I'd have to go through my uh, my old cards to find out if I could find them. I know they're somewhere here. They better be, because I got like three, the first three sets complete. <laughs> it would suck if I couldn't find them. A um, little upset I didn't get the Alakazam, but as I said, you know, if it was easy to get Alakazam, everybody'd have him. Unless he's in like one of those pre made de decks that they have. But I don't think I saw. An Alakazam pre-made deck. Either way, I think it was a pretty good, pretty good haul. Um, let me know down in the comments if uh, any of these cards are actually really good. <laughs> I, again, I'm just starting to get back into it, so I'm not sure which cards are really good. I'll have to go through them and actually read them myself. But if any of you who actually play the game know if some of these cards are good. Let me know, because uh, I am trying to build a new deck uh, so I can play against my friend and who knows, maybe go to like some comic shops and join some of their competitions or something. I don't think I'll be doing that great. <laughs> um, only con only um, Pokemon tournament I went to, I lost every match. And that was with my other deck, which was a uh, Lightning and Psychic deck. The two main powerhouses in that were Magneton and Gengar. But uh, I, I came up with that deck through the Game Boy Advanced game. The uh, Pokemon trading card game, Game Boy Advanced game that was out years ago. Uh, which actually taught me how to play. It was actually really good in teaching you how to actually play the game. And... Uh, got me into actually making a deck to go to some of these competitions and try playing against other people. Obviously, it didn't go very well for me, <laughs> since I lost all three matches. One of them was actually pretty close. It came down to our very last cards. I think he had Haunter with the special ability where if you attack him, you have to flip a coin, and if you get Tails, the attack misses. And my last card was a Magneton, who had the ability to self-destruct, which would have given me the game, because we were both on our last prizes. But when I flipped the coin, I got Tails, so my Pokemon died, and he won. I think that match lasted like 30, 45 minutes. It lasted a while. Um... The match after that only lasted like five because I had one Pokemon and the dude had like five. And he had Kangaskhan. And back then the ability for him, I forget what the name of it was, but it was some punch, some kind of punch. And you'd flip like a coin, I think four times. And it multiplied it by 20 or so every time you got heads and he hit heads all four times so he pretty much beat me right away it was pretty bad <laughs> uh anyway if you enjoyed this little unpacking can't really call it an unboxing um hit the like and subscribe button um hopefully soon i'll actually get like figures or something to unbox and go through um, so until then, bye.